guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another haul video. I know I just uploaded a haul and I'm uploading another one back to back, but I love hauls. I love watching hauls. I love filming hauls. I just, I, I love hauls. So that's what we're doing today. So today's video is going to be kind of like the last one. Actually, I'm going to have some beauty things, some clothing, some arts and craft things, and then some Halloween things too as well. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, but first, disclaimer, if at any time during this video I have lipstick on my teeth and I do not notice it, I am so sorry. I am not wearing a liquid lipstick today. It is so weird for me. <laughs> and I keep getting lipstick on my teeth, so yeah, I'm just warning you now. I'm sorry if there's lipstick on these teeth. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First things I want to talk about are um, some beauty things. And I got things from kind of everywhere. I have stuff from Walmart, Marshalls, um, and Joann's. Speaking of which, I need to go get that fabric. Hmm. Hopefully I don't forget, remind me <laughs> that I need to show the new fabric that I got from Joann's, but no. Nah. I don't know how you're gonna remind me. Anyway, um, so first I wanna talk about some dry shampoos that I got because I am a dry shampoo freak. This year, especially, I have really gotten into dry shampoos and I always use Batiste and I've been trying out some of the new scents and I got two. First, I got this one and I got it at um, Kmart. Oh, I have Kmart things in here as well. Um, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Floral and Flirty Blush. I had always wanted to try this one because I really love the packaging. I mean, it's pink, it's girly, it has flowers, of course. But, um, I do have to say I'm not the hugest fan of the scent. I really like the tropical one, the yellow one. Um, that one's probably my favorite that I've tried so far. I've tried another one too, but I don't remember what it was called. But I like that one too. And then um, I also got the um, Bright and Lively Floral Essences one. And this packaging is so cute as well. I love this. And I was so pissed off because I needed, like I said, I needed dry shampoo. And I got the other one from Kmart for a regular price. And then I found this one at Marshalls for $4.79. And I was like, what the heck? And I like this scent better than that one. I settled for that scent because they didn't have any other ones at Kmart. And so I was like, okay, well, I really need dry shampoo. And I was there, so I was like, then the next day, or, no, it was the same day. Was it? I don't know. No, yeah, it was the same day. I got the dry shim, the other one from Marshalls, and I was like, what the heck? So I just decided to get both because I go through this like water. I... I use dry shampoo all the time. I have it in my hair right now because I was working out earlier. Yeah. Next item of business, I got another <laughs> L'Oreal 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 Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 105 Natural Beige. This is my go-to foundation. I have it on right now. I love this stuff so much. Nothing has ever compared to it for me. So. I love it and I got this at Kmart and they had my shade, they were fully stocked and I was like yes because I think my shade is like the most popular shade because it's always the one that's out of stock and I'm like that's so annoying like I'm trying to be unique over here and then everyone has to have my shade and <laughs> I'm just kidding but yeah um, I was so happy that they had it in stock so I needed another one and I swooped it up. Then I got an oldie but a goodie, um, I actually got two, I'm using one right now, this one's still um, Sealed. But this is the Jordana Best Best Lash La mm -hmm. the Jordana Best Lash Extreme <laughs> uh, Volumizing Mascara. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's just it's it's really good. And it's only like two ninety nine or one ninety nine two ninety nine I believe at Kmart. So you should definitely if you have a Kmart or I it might be that price everywhere. I'm not sure. But this stuff is freaking phenomenal and I love it and it's so inexpensive. I think I like this more than my L'Oreal Voluminous, which is saying a lot because I love that mascara. But this is so good and like the first application is okay, but then it doesn't take that long for it to get kind of, you know how you like your mascaras or most people like their mascaras to get 
a little bit dried out and then it like really showed it's like at its peak like yes this is good it only took a day for that to happen for this and it's still going strong though um the one that i have open so i'm like i like it it's not drying out too fast but it's like at that perfect perfect state so i love this you guys should definitely try it out and let me know how you like it then i got my Probably my favorite lashes right now. These are the Vegas May um, Eiler Grand Glamour lashes. And they look a little something like this. They're so freaking pretty. And I got these at Kmart and they were having buy one get one 50% off. And they only had one left. And I was like, I wanted two pairs like initially. And I was so mad. I was like, I could have gotten one half off. And I didn't because they only had this one left in stock. And I'm like... What is going on with the world? This is not cool. So, yeah. But I freaking love these lashes. I wear them all the time. Like, when I go out or whatever. I These are awesome. You do have to trim, or I at least have to trim them a little bit. But they are so good. So good. Then, if you saw my last haul, you'll have seen that I bought the uh, new Garnier, what are they called? Whole Blends line. And I got the coconut one. Um last time and then I wanted to try you know something else from them because I really like the line so these are the Ho Garnier Whole Blends um, Avocado Oil and Shea Butter Extracts Shampoo and Conditioner and these Deeply Replenish and Restore so they look like this sorry if there's glare but you know lighting uh, <laughs> So these smell really good and I'm excited to use these. I'm almost out of the other ones. I go through shampoo and conditioner so quickly, like, it's not even funny. I have a lot of hair. As you, well, I don't know if you could tell, but like, a lot of hair. It is super thick, so I go through shampoo and conditioner really quickly. And to go along with that, I also got a hair mask as, again, in the last video I got a hair mask as well. I have not done with that one, but this one goes with those uh, shampoo and conditioners. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Nourishing Mask in the same avocado oil and shea butter. So it just looks like this. I'm super excited to try this one. I have high hopes for it. I haven't even opened it yet. Ooh, that's thick. Oh, it smells super good. I don't know. If, can you see that? Yeah, it's like super thick. I'm excited to try that. Um, I have high hopes for you. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Next order of business, I'm going to get into some clothing stuff that I got kind of everywhere. Because um, who doesn't love clothing? <laughs> I do. Um, anyways, I got this workout shirt. Isn't this so nice? I got this from Walmart for like, I don't know, five bucks or something. And it has a razor back and it's so comfortable. And this, I've tried this one on. I have another one in there that I'm going to show you. But I wore this and it was like fit perfectly to my body it, it's crazy like Walmart's coming up with their apparel you guys I'm, I'm telling you they, they are and then I also got one in black so that one looks like this and this one's a lot thinner but I don't know I'm excited I think thin's good for workout stuff Super cute, super, super cute. And then this is like kind of see-through right here. So I don't know. I think that's a cute detail. And in the back too, it's like see-through and stuff. So, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super excited for that. And that also was like, those were, one of them was like five bucks. The other one was seven bucks. I'm not sure which one was which. But I'm excited for those. They have a lot of workout stuff at Walmart right now, you guys. So you should definitely check it out. I, I really liked working out in that other shirt. So... I kind of want more and I highly recommend them so yeah next thing I got was from Marshalls and these were $4.99 you guys these are workout socks and look how colorful they are and they're really thick I actually picked these up because I want to wear them to work they have a little bit of like this back ankle support part where um, my shoes out for work they're still toes um the ankle part kind of goes up a little higher so i need kind of longer socks so i thought i think these might work i'm not sure and they're thick so because my feet are totally torn up from the still toes i have to wear at work and um 
these are thicker so hopefully they'll do help my feet out a little bit in the comfort zone and yeah you get six pairs all different colors and like I said $4.99 check out Marshalls you guys they have some good stuff I haven't been to Marshalls in years like years and I was like dude what am I doing with my life I need to go here I need to go to TJ Maxx I need to go to all those kinds of kinds of places because I'm like I'm sleeping on it guys I'm sleeping on it next thing I got was from where were you from I think these were from these were from hmm I'm sorry you guys I don't remember where these were from <laughs> but I got some knee high socks oh okay I remember I got these at the 99 cent store can you believe that these are some knee high socks so they have some tribal ones and then just some blue ones some orange ones and then another pair of tribal ones these were $1.99 I don't know if you can see that but just take my word for it $1.99 for four pairs of socks and they're hi I can wear these at work or just you know it's winter time it's getting colder and I'm so excited I'm like $1.99 what the what <laughs> last thing I got was from Kmart in the clothing uh, section of this video <laughs> these were $2.99 and they are just some um, socks Halloween socks with some little kitties on them and then black and white stripes so it comes with two pairs for $2.99 so yeah very cool I love I love socks in general like cute socks I'm one of those cute socks people and um, I was just I was happy with those I just I love socks okay so some of the last things I got were arts and crafty thingies um I got this at where did I get this at at Joann's this is from Heidi Swap and it's the marquee love thing I got a D it's a light up D so you can put um, it comes with like the lights and stuff and yeah they have some really cute designs on the back to see the X's and O's with different colors so apparently you can uh, decorate these I don't know I might just leave mine white though I'm not sure but they do have some really cute designs on the back like glitter and stuff so that's kind of cute I don't know we'll see we'll see what I end up doing but I really like this and yeah I think it'll look good in my new background oh I didn't mention my new background I have my little Halloween corner over there so you know festive and then I put I moved my whole room around so I have my dresser over here now where my backdrop was I still left my backdrop up because it looks cute I don't know and uh yeah so I don't know do you guys like this I like backgrounds where you can kind of I don't know see the person's room I don't know it feels more personal to me like backdrops are pretty and everything but I personally like this kind of background better but that's just me maybe people like the more professional looking stuff I don't know and that was um I I want to say this was like $12.99 but I got it half off with the Joann's coupon for 50% off and I was like yes yes then I got this little um it's called the Glitzy Pastels Stack. These are glittered cardstock papers. So let me show you this prettiness. Yes. They're all glittery. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. But they're so pretty. Yeah, that just looks like plain paper from here. But I swear, they're glittery and they're really pretty. And I was thinking of doing some DIYs with this over on my other channel. DIY does. Go subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the only person sc subscribed to it so far. So... We need to change that. Um, but yeah, I I have some ideas for this in mind. Then I also bought a notebook from Target, no Walmart. And oh, I want you guys to see this so bad. They're, it's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Look how cute that is. Little arrows. Okay, let's change this lighting back. Um yeah so I got a new notebook for my purse if you saw my what's in my purse bag which I think most of you did because it's it's doing pretty good um I had a notebook in there but I wanted a different one because that one's kind of like breaking and stuff so I wanted a cute one and I really like this one and it was inexpensive and it's a little bigger oh my goodness and it has a divider thing in it I didn't even notice that look I don't know if you see see oh even better and the last thing I got you guys was from Joann's and this is fabric and I've been wanting this type of fabric for so long I don't know I might have to lower the 
Hold on. See if you could tell it has the little rosettes in it, like built in. So I thought this would be really pretty for pictures when, um, hold on. Anywho, I thought it would be really pretty for makeup pictures and stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do post makeup pictures and stuff and a lot of selfies because, you know, I'm trying to show off the makeup. That's what it's about. I'm not, like, full of myself for anyone wondering. Um, there's, like, fuzzies flying around now. But, yeah, so follow me on Instagram if you aren't, if you're one of those people like me who love to see uh, makeup and beauty posts and, you know, all that jazz because I think it's super fun and... I love taking pictures of stuff like my perfumes and everything. I don't know. I think it's really cool. Is that just me? No, it's not just me because a lot of people take pictures of beauty stuff. You know, but I thought that would be a really pretty, um, like, background, whatever, for the pictures. And I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And it was, like, 30% off. And I've been wanting that particular fabric for so long. But they never had it in white. They always had it in other colors. And I was like, Urgh. Um, but yeah, so when I finally found it, I was like, okay, I have the money, I need to jump on this now. Um, but yeah, oh, no, one more thing, my favorite thing, I almost forgot. If you know me, you know how much I love Wonder Woman. I'm not, like, into all the comics and stuff, I want to get into them and read them. I just love the idea of Wonder Woman, and, um, I have a lot of different cups and, like, Wonder Woman things. Um, so I saw this at Marshall's, and it was $4.99. This mug, oh my gosh, look how shiny it is and like metallic and oh, it's so pretty. I probably won't be drinking out of it. It's probably going to go as decoration in my room like so many other cups I have. Like that one right there. <laughs> oh wait, it's that one. That's the candle. That one's the cup. Wait, no, they're both cups. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um... $4.99 you guys and they had a Batman one too that I wanted really badly but it was chipped and they didn't have any other ones so I was like dang it but it was like Batman and it was the same kind of like uh shiny and stuff and it, it was so cool and I was like I would have totally bought that one too but <sighs> it wasn't meant to be I guess mm -hmm. but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for stopping by and watching I had a great time filming this as you could probably tell I'm like all crazy. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I have um, the lipstick Brick Ola by MAC with a uh, Bobbi Brown highlighter on top. It's the bronze glow or whatever. I'll have it listed down below, but I was going for a like a metallic kind of looking something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's my video. You Weirdest outro ever. I can't even speak. That's my video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below for video suggestions. My next one, I'm pretty sure, is finally going to be my Clinique foundation versus my Milani, you know, the Conceal and Perfect whatevers. Um, I already have a video up on the Clinique one, a whole review, but this next one's just going to be comparing the two, uh, the Clinique and Milani one. So, yeah. Heads up for that, <laughs> and make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, I have them listed down below, and follow my new channel, DIY Does. Um, I'm not going to post as often on that one, but I will be posting on it, so you'll get notified every once in a while <laughs> um, if you subscribe. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. Um, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!